Gamers and today we will be doing a fall craft which will be a polymer clay pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern materials. You will need some orange clay, a paintbrush, I'm using also a sculpting tool for the little indents and if you want you can use some clay or some acrylic paint to paint on the eyes, nose and mouth if you want to make it a jack-o'-lantern. You will also need some jump rings and eye pins. This time you can get either some green, some brown, or some gray or whatever color you want. To so first you're going to roll the clay into a ball and then kind of push it down a little bit on your work surface to get a bit more of a flatter bottom so it could stand up better when you're done. Okay, now I'm going to get my tool here and make a few indents. If you want to paint the face when you're done or put it on some clay, uh, make sure to leave some space in the front so it is easier to make a face without having to paint on top of lines. On the side of the face, you can make a little indent here. Now, I'm not going to make a stem. So if you're not going to make a stem, you don't have to connect the lines. You, I'm just using the tip of my paintbrush. Just make a little dot here. Now, if you're going to put in an eye pin, or a the head pin, I think that's what it's called. Go ahead and do it. So for the eye pin, I'm just going to put it in right here. Make sure that the clay is covered up a little bit. So I'm just going to use one of my tools. Just push it in a little bit. Cover up the part where the top of the hole is. You may have to re-sculpt it a little bit and redo the lines, but it's okay really. You don't have to do the lines if you don't want to, so I'm just going to redo them now. You can put in as many lines as you like. Your choice, really. So mine kind of looks like a squash, but it really doesn't matter. So, now, once you think it's good and you're satisfied, it is ready to put your creation in the oven. Bake the clay according to the temperature and time according to your own baking instructions. So once it is done being baked, then we will be right back. Finish baking, let it cool off to make sure you don't burn yourself. So you might want to get some oven mints when baking it out. You don't have to use paint, because if, but if you do use paint, use acrylic paint. If you don't have the colors you want, you could always use a Sharpie. And you may think they don't have all the colors that you need to make the face, like for the eyes. They have these, they're called Sharpie paint pens, and they come in lots of different colors. I already have, I already have gold and silver, so yeah, for the face. You don't have to use paint, you can always just use a Sharpie or some other type of permanent marker.
all done. And if you want to, you can get some glaze. Just make it shiny and seal your paint or the Sharpie in. And remember, if you do use nail polish remover, it can take off glaze and it can take off paint and then obviously you can take off Sharpie. Now, if you want, go ahead and put in your jump ring. So you could put it onto a charm bracelet. You could also add in chains, your choice. And there you go, all done. There's your little pumpkin or jack lantern. So, yeah. That, that's one of the first fall crafts we'll be doing. There should be more to come. And enjoy your fall. And the rest of your day. Bye.